Hello, this is Yaakov Kronenberg from Jerusalem, and tonight we'll be doing another class in a series of classes on Gemini Ascendant and Venus and the different um, signs. Tonight we'll be doing Venus in in Pisces, right? Uh, when you have Venus in Pisces, Venus in Pisces is sort of in detriment, uh, what's called in astrology detriment. Uh, when a planet is in... Uh, uh, <laughs> Um, when a planet is in detriment it, it, it tends not to work so good it doesn't mean like uh, Mercury is the intelligence so, so if you have a planet in detriment it doesn't mean you're going to be not smart you have to under- people have to understand that uh, it, can be, it can be like very super smart very intelligent If uh, when Venus is in any of the signs uh, when, when, excuse me, when uh, Mercury is in any of the signs, but what, what, what's the thing is when you have Venus, when you have uh, Mercury in Pisces, the problem is that the, the emotions are too strong. In other words, the mind is influenced sometimes by the emotions. The person will know, will know there's something that he shouldn't do, you know, the, the perp- he knows there's something that he shouldn't do, but he'll do it anyway because he can get emotionally convinced that this is what he has to do. So a person like this, if you see a person with Mercury in Pisces, if you want to get something out of them, you can appeal to their emotions, right? They're the type of people you can appeal to their emotions and and sometimes they, you know, like you ask them for charity or something, you know, and they'll... You know they feel bad for you, even though they think they well they I, I shouldn't give to this guy he's uh, he's, he's, he's doesn't really need it or something but they'll, they'll, they'll there'll be something in them that'll believe you and want to help you and and so they'll do it against them even against their better judgment so they're the people they're the people in the zodiac that you can actually convince to 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 do to do emotionally you can appeal to their emotions. Not like, say, Mercury in Virgo. Mercury in Virgo is very uh, coolly rational, right? They, they do everything, you know, in a totally rational way. They put everything in the computer, and what the computer says to do, they do it. That's not, uh, But that's not Mercury in Pisces. Mercury in Pisces, the mind, no matter how good it is, it has a certain so to speak problem in that it, it's it's just too easily influenced uh, by appeals to the emotion and it can cause the person to go to go a little to do things against maybe as better judgment sometimes um, and another problem with uh, Mercury Mercury in Pisces though it gives a person a very um, what do we say? Mercury in Pisces, for example, gives a person a very uh, changeable nature. He, uh, Mercury in Pisces, they can uh, they can change their opinions a lot, right? They 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 don't have any clear. Uh, they they hide their opinions, uh, or they disguise their opinions, or they can change their opinions. They're shaman-like, uh, cham cham uh, chameleon-like, that they can you know they they. They change who they are and, and what they believe in with with a relative ease, and we're going to see that tonight. We're going to look at a horoscope of a very famous politician that actually his ruling planet is uh, Mercury in Pisces, and it's a nice position for a for a politician. Again, when when you have a planet in in detriment, you want to look if the planet is strong or weak. If it's strong, then the person works to overcome his detriment. If it's um, if it's weak, so then it um, then sometimes they give in more. So it can be a more difficult uh, uh, proposition. Say if you have Mercury in the sixth or eighth house in detriment, it's it's a different ball game than if you have uh, say Mercury in the tenth house. We're going to work really hard to to comp- overcompensate for for uh, the Mercury, the weakness of the Mercury. But in any case, uh, a person who's got their Mercury in water sign, so they're, again, if it's the ruling planet, they'll be very influenced by water. They'll be very emotionally influenced. And by nature, uh, the, the the ruling planet, in this case, will fall in the 10th house. So it'll be a person who has the uh, Gemini with Mercury in the 10th, um, 
you know, they're going to try to fulfill themselves uh, through their, the, to fulfill their Gemini nature, to bring out their Gemini nature through their career. And, um, so there'll be a big interest in career, to, uh, sort of working out your, 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 uh, problems through, through your career. Today I want to look at, let's look at one horoscope of a famous man who, Actually, he's running now for the president, uh, for presidency of the United States against Mr. Obama, the, t- the current president, and his name is Mitt Romney, and he's actually he's one of the richest men in America, very very wealthy. They say he's worth at least two hundred fifty million dollars, um, and he's had a very successful career in. Uh, He's been very successful in business, uh, running a company like like the, a financial company. He's got a number of degrees in in business and high finance, and he's uh, and he's uh, actually he's very religious too. He's very active in his uh, religion. He's one of the leaders of this church group or whatever, and that's also again the Mercury in Pisces. Pisces is connected to Jupiter. So you always have to look again at your, when you have a ruling planet. You always have to remember the ruling planet. You have to see its dispositor because the dispositor is also very important in the chart. It's like in his chart, uh, Jupiter is the dispositor, and it's uh, almost on the cusp of the seventh house, connected to his moon. So it makes the person extraordinarily lucky, right? When you have the dispositor of the chart. Uh, Jupiter is nice, but but it's connected to the moon, which is the instincts, and so it, it gives a person tremendous mazel when when you have the Jupiter uh, conjunct the moon uh, and also being the dispositor of the uh, ruler of the planet in the tenth house. So he's everything he's done has been very successful. As a, a children, he's got five boys. Uh, he's worth uh, almost a billion dollars. He's held the uh, top top jobs of responsibility, he was governor of some of a state in America, and he's done other things, he's a well, well, leader of a high finance company, and he's, uh, now he's running for president, and there's a good chance that he could win. And with his luck, I wouldn't put it past him, the guy's a very, very lucky man. And, so again, uh, but one hand, uh, you have to look at, you know, Gemini Ascendant is not the strongest of ascendants, right? It's a mutable air sign. Air is not the strongest sign on the cusp uh, to have on the ascendant. And it's mutable by nature. And Mercury is not the strongest planet, especially being in detriment there in Pisces. But you have to look at it, if you look at his job more closely, you see that the, the Mercury in his chart is between two planets, Mars and the Sun which alters the picture a lot. Right? They're in the 11th house. All three planets are in the 11th house. They should be in the 10th. Right? So they're going to be connected with his career and also connected with the 11th house affairs, his friends. Right? His father was a very famous politician, also a governor of one of the states in America. And he must have had tremendous connections uh, as a child and as a grown-up because he was born into, you know, the the top layers of of uh, politics and society in America, so he had like you know every advantage going for him, and so his friends they help him a lot, and he's got that career ability. And when you have the Mercury, first of all, it's connected to the Sun, is going to bring a person honor, right? A lot of honor in life, a lot of rewards, a lot of success, and it's connected with Mars, which is going to add to his um, what do you call it? It's going to give him drive and push, and he's going to want to be very, very successful. And when you have all these three planets connected, it makes a person very alert, highly intelligent. It makes him a fast talker. Uh, and it's going to it's going to give him a lot of ability to get things done. It's a person who not only talks but he talks and gets things done. So it's a very beautiful combination there. Those three planets together. And um, right, the Sun and the Mars with 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 the Mercury in between them. You like. 
And so that makes the, the, you know, he's very intelligent, but he also has got that ability to do things, and he's got that luck, you know, he's got also that sun there. It also receives, uh, that sun receives a trine aspect also from Jupiter. Uh, So both of his lights in his chart, and also the Mercury, are aspected nicely by Jupiter, which is a tremendously lucky man. and gifted and there's a good chance he's going to be president and we saw a little bit of his chart here tonight and I thank everybody for listening.